In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the radiator on this Dodge Dart. Let's get into it. Before you start this job, you need to have the refrigerant removed from the system. Go to your local shop and have that removed. Disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Use a 10 millimeter wrench. Slide that off. Take this cover off. I'm just going to use a trim tool. Take the push pins out. Slide that off. Remove this under shield. Use a 10 millimeter socket. Take these bolts out. One there. One right there. Slide that down. Underneath, on the side of the radiator, there's a drain. We're gonna use a drain bucket. You wanna open this up. Make sure the engine's not hot when you're doing this. I'm just gonna use some pliers just to loosen it up a little bit, but be careful. Just wiggle that out. There you go, let that drain. After it's done draining, you wanna push this in. Twist it to the right. Just be careful if you're tightening it with pliers, you don't want to crack it. And that's good, that's closed. The O2 sensor is clipped into the radiator fan support. You want to take that wire off, just unclip it, set that aside. Disconnect the upper radiator hose. I'm gonna use an eight millimeter socket. Loosen up the worm clamp. Slide that to the side. Just grab the hose. Slides out. And just move that over. You can see where the fan is connected. Disconnect the electrical connector. Just push down on the tab. Slide that off and follow that wire. There is some retainers holding that on. Just use a trim tool. Just pop those off, just like that. There's another one down below. That looks good. Using an eight millimeter socket. There's a screw right here. Take that screw out. Then you're gonna have one on the other side as well. Take that screw out. Grab the fan assembly, slide it up. Make sure the wires are out of the way. And it slides right out. Now you want to take these lines off. There shouldn't be anything in the AC system because you had that refrigerant removed before. Use a 13 millimeter socket. Slide this out. Sometimes you hear a little bit of hissing and that's because there's a vacuum on the system. that out. Using a pick, 
We're gonna take this clip off where the hose is. Just grab that clip, slide it up. Make sure you have a drain bucket underneath. You're probably gonna lose a little bit of coolant. And you wanna slide this hose off, just like that. Not a lot of coolant came out, but there could be more. That's good. There's a bracket right here on both sides. We're gonna use a T25 socket. Take those screws out. those screws out. There's just a little bracket right here that just slides out. And slide that out. Now grab the radiator, just slide it towards the back of the car. And just wiggle it out. It slides right out of the way. I'm gonna take the four screws out, use an eight millimeter socket. Let's slide those out, grab the condenser. Separate it from the radiator. We're going to take these side grommets off. I'm just going to use a straight blade screwdriver. Just get on the side of this. And we'll take off the other side as well. Just prime off. Two screwdrivers works best straight blade. The new radiator, we'll slide these on. The same on this side. There we go. Uh, take the condenser and slide it in place. Take the screws, get those started. And we'll tighten those down. Just snug. And I'll slide it back in. Watch the hoses. And get the bottom lined up. That's good. Push that down and slide the radiator back. Get those grommets to line up. Good. Now put these brackets on, just slide these in place, take the bolts, get those started. And 
I'll tighten these down. Do the same on the other side. Slide that on, put these bolts in. That's good. Can remove the seals for the AC lines. If you need to use a pick. Slide that off, get a new seal, put a little bit of oil on the new seal, slide the seal on. You can do the same on the other one. Right there. Take the lines, line those up with the condenser, slide those in position. Take the bolt, get that started, and we'll tighten that down. Sure that's snug it's good take the hose down below you need to reposition the clip push it down slide it over the radiator lock it down take the fan assembly slide it down get the bottom to line in first line up with the Clips. There we go. It's lined up. Take the two screws, get those started on both sides. And we'll tighten those down. Down with the wires, connect to the fan. You want to push the retainers in right there and then down below as well. Should be a spot for that. And connect the connector. Make sure it locks in place. It's all the way down. And take the hose, line it up, slide that in place. And we'll tighten down the worm clamp. Snug that down, that's good. Take the O2 sensor wire, push that in the clips, just like that. Take this cover, line that up, and push all the push pins in. Now take this shield, slide it up, get the bolt started.
tighten all those down. Tighten that one down. Connect the negative terminal on the battery. Tighten it down. That's snug. Give it a wiggle. Make sure it's tight. Now you want to top off with the appropriate coolant. You want to double check your owner's manual. And fill up the reservoir. cap on. You can start the engine, run it for about 15 minutes, then shut it down. Once it cools, double check the fluid level. And while the engine's running, you want to make sure the engine doesn't overheat. After you're done this repair, you want to bring the vehicle to a local shop to have the refrigerant reinstalled in the system. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.